We are joined now by New York City's Police Commissioner Dermot Shea. Commissioner Shea, good morning. How would you describe the evening last night? We saw a massive police pre presence, huge crowds, violence, fires. Uh, from your perspective, how would you characterize the night? Yeah, Savannah, it was an incredibly challenging and busy weekend. Uh, tens of thousands of protesters all over New York City. Yesterday was a busy day. Um, first 90 percent of yesterday went very well. Probably about five, six thousand protesters throughout New York City. Um, less violence, I would categorize it, as, as the days before. The majority of the protesters were peaceful, um, making their point. When it got dark, it got ugly, and it got ugly quick. Um, we had some violence. Uh, we had another incident, unfortunately, of an individual with a Molotov cocktail in Brooklyn. We had an individual, uh, two officers in a marked car in Queens. Um, that a bullet hit their car, that's under investigation. Uh, there were no protests in that area. Uh, it, it could be unrelated, but that's clearly uh, alarming to us and under investigation. And then the looting. The looting turned very quickly uh, in portions of the city in Brooklyn uh, and primarily in Manhattan, uh, the area of Union Square, 14th Street, Soho. Uh, there were hundreds and hundreds of arrests in a very short time in that area. And then, and some, unfortunately, are still going up. So it was a challenging yeah, evening for the police officers. Yeah. Union Square is where we are right now. Yeah. The New York Times reported flames going two stories high. I wanted to ask you about a couple of incidents that are making the rounds on social media, one in which a patrol yeah. car, NYPD car in Brooklyn, appears to roll into a crowd of onlookers yes. or demonstrators, I should say. Um, and then another case where an NYPD officer appears to shove a woman down to the ground. Are you looking into those incidents? Have you come to any conclusions about whether that those actions were justified? In, in Savannah, and I appreciate the question, in literally tens of thousands of encounters, we have about six that our internal affairs officers are looking at. Uh, in the process of either identifying the officers, I think by now probably when I get my update shortly, Probably most of the officers will have been identified and there'll be an investigation. In, in the car one, anyone that looks at that has to be troubled by what they saw. Um, but there's a couple other incidents in cars that we released to the media and weren't shown. And it shows a similar situation where the cop cars are getting attacked and have to basically get out of there as quickly as possible. So it's, it's a very difficult situation without a good ending either way. Um, that, that is on the heels of uh, Molotov cocktails being thrown at police officers. If you look at that entire video, you see people, um, I would describe it as an ambush, physically trying to hold yeah. that police officer's car in check as people are surrounding it. So it, it, it's, it's clearly something that no one should want to see, um, but we'll, we'll move forward. It is difficult situation, no question about it. Do you believe there should be a curfew? New York City doesn't have one. Do you need the National Guard to be here? No, uh, we don't need the National Guard. Uh, we, we got the question on the curfew. I'll be honest with you, Savannah. Uh, we, could, we could impose a curfew today. Uh, the problem is people need to listen to a curfew, and that's not going to happen, first and foremost. If people think it will, they don't understand what's going on. And the second point is anyone that is on the street during this curfew, we had this discussion last night, could probably already be arrested for five different offenses. So what we are doing is trying to manage an extremely volatile situation. There is a lot of outside influences. How we're going to get through with this is level-headedness, police action for sure. But we also need to come together, and not just as a city, but as a country. Yeah. And that's elected officials, that's community leaders, Less inflammatory talk, criticism is good, but inflammatory talk is not helpful. Commissioner Shea, it, a longer conversation is warranted about all Absolutely. of this and the, and the deeper issues presented here. Unfortunately, we got to leave it there this morning so we can get down to Washington and Craig, who's with the mayor there. But thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Craig, thank I'll send you. it down to Thanks, you. Sir.